Welcome to LinkedIn for Job Seekers. My name is Jason Alba. I wrote the book, I'm on LinkedIn, Now What? I have presented about a hundred times on using LinkedIn, but none of those presentations have gone as in-depth for a user as this presentation. Usually, I just have enough time to hit on four to six main things to do in LinkedIn, and that's enough for a lot of people. But this webinar fills in a lot of the cracks that I just can't cover during those short presentations. Instead of being a visual user manual, I want to point out what I think is important. In this section, I'm going to critique five LinkedIn profiles, just the part that's above the fold, which is the top section. Actually, there's eight things that I want to point out. And as we go through each of these five profiles, you should be able to pick them out. We already did the top part. Now we're going to do the bottom part, or be fold, below the fold. And I should mention there's going to be six things that I'm going to point out on each profile. There's one thing of the six that you won't see on any of these profiles, which is why I had to bring in my profile, and I'm going to point it out on that one. See if you can guess what that sixth thing is before I get to my profile. In this session, I want to talk about LinkedIn applications, which is a relatively recent addition to LinkedIn, and they allow you to do seemingly cool stuff. So, which of these do you think I would say is the most important application that everybody, whether you're a job seeker or not, should have on your profile? I'm not going to tell you yet. In this session, we're going to go over a few things in the account and settings area that I want you to know about and talk about a few things that I care about. So all of this has to do with privacy. In this session, I'm going to go over how to get recommendations and how to give recommendations. Recommendations can be powerful professional endorsements. They're like personal testimonials. This will help others who are looking at my resume and my LinkedIn profile understand what I'm looking for. In this session, I'll show you how to ask a question and point out the critical steps you can take to ensure the highest amount of people see the question you ask, right? Because I get asked a lot, how come I ask a question and nobody can see it? So I'm gonna walk you through that. In this session, I'm gonna show you how to answer questions in LinkedIn Answers and what to consider when choosing which questions you could or should answer. Answering questions is a great way to put your brand and expertise in front of people who may be interested in your brand or expertise. In this session, we'll go over searching on LinkedIn. There are a few things to point out, but first, I want to share why I thought LinkedIn was broken when I first signed up. The search results were empty. This had everything to do with the size of my network, which was, at the time, five connections. Funny, isn't it? In this session, we'll talk about how to browse through someone's connections and what you might look for. In other words, is there value in browsing someone's connections? I think there's a ton of value. Let's see what we can find. In this session, I'm going to talk to you about exporting your contacts. I strongly encourage you to export your contacts on a regular basis and do something with them. So, let me show you how I do it and what I do with my, con my contacts that I export. In this session, we're going to talk about growing your LinkedIn network strategically, and that is on how to add connections, but also some of the philosophy behind adding connections. In this session, we'll talk about LinkedIn groups. Since 2008, groups have had some valuable functionality, and you should consider incorporating groups into your overall LinkedIn strategy. I've shared a lot of information about LinkedIn in these webinars, but I know there's going to be more stuff that uh, comes up, stuff that needs to be discussed, questions, etc. And I want to point you to another resource that you can come check out. Aside from my book, I have a blog that is called I'm on LinkedIn Now What.com, and I blog there regularly. In this session, we'll learn about a very powerful feature in LinkedIn companies. Ever since they really beefed up companies, I have fallen in love with what companies allows me to do. It's so powerful. In this session, we're going to explore the job section of LinkedIn. Does that make sense? Because that's what this webinar series is all about. In this session, we'll go over LinkedIn introductions. Now, I'm not really keen on one-to-one -one communication within LinkedIn, except through introductions. Why? Because you get a warm introduction through a trusted contact as opposed to a cold call from out of the blue. 
LinkedIn for Job Seekers is available at I'm on LinkedIn now what.com and on Amazon.com. On Amazon, just search for LinkedIn DVD. Here's the coolest thing about this DVD. I say it's for job seekers, but really, anyone who needs to learn more about LinkedIn can get value out of this DVD. Watch just the sections you need to learn about as many times as you wish. You should have a more solid LinkedIn strategy in no time. I've been involved in LinkedIn training for a while, and I can say this DVD is a terrific value.